Guys, I am in one of the most gorgeous places in Washington DC, the Franciscan Monastery of the Holy Land, it's called, preserving the 800 year old history of the Franciscan monks. And it is a most, most gorgeous place and some, something of a sanctuary for me. I come here from time to time to think. Yes, I do this from time to time. So I was thinking about maybe it's the monastery. I'm thinking about religion. I'm thinking about eternity, life, how quickly it can come and go. My parents have both passed by now so i am nobody's child anymore i would be the next generation in my family to go and i was thinking about how how i would like to live my life and that is actually a conversation i've been having with my husband who turns 50 this year so the number 50 and 5 is big in my mind and just the other day i thought plan for 50 live for five Plan for 50 means that I absolutely, like unless I get run over by a bus or so, which I hope will never happen, I plan to live at least another 50 years. And for that, you know, I'm all about longevity. I'm all about health. If you have been following me even just for a little while, this is, this is a big, big priority of mine. I can do a lot to stay healthy, to stay vibrant, to live, to prolong my health span, not just my lifespan, but my health span. There's a lot of things that I can do. And I slacked off a little bit during the pandemic. I'm sure, I'm not sure, but most likely you can relate. I don't know how many pounds it is, but I would like to lose 30. So if you want to follow me on that journey, come along with my new, <laughs> you know, usually 15 year olds launch YouTube channels, not 50 year olds, but anyway, I did the two. But the point here is that I know that everything I do today, health-wise, physically, mentally, emotionally, will pay off in 10, 20 years in my life. So I want to plan for 50 and live accordingly with the vision in mind that I have 50 really healthy years ahead of me. I'm doing my part, it's my responsibility to not rely only on on the pharma industry and medication but really to be very proactive with my health so that's what i mean with the plan for the next 50 years however that is such a long time and is a time frame that i for example i can't really i don't know what to do with such a time frame so i thought plan for 50 but live for five ask the questions how would you like to live if you would know you only have five more years to live. What would you like to do? Would you like to have the same job that you have right now? Would you like to travel more? And if so, where? Why not book right now, today, that trip, even if it's for next year? Who would you like to spend the next five years with? And who would you rather not have to spend the next five years with? How would we like to live, and especially after the experience of the pandemic that we all had, what have we learned? What would we like to keep in our lives? What would we like to change if we really uh, would assume we have only five years left? And that's the question I'm asking myself and that I wanted to share here today and encourage you to ask that question as well. What would you like to do? Where would you like to live? Super, super important, I believe. Who would you like to spend the next five years with? What would you like to do? What kind of health would you like to experience? What kind of energy? What kind of legacy would you like to build? These are my thoughts today coming to you from the beautiful Franciscan monastery. If you liked the video, please like it, subscribe to this brand new channel of mine, hit the bell so you get notifications, and please let us know in the comments below, how would you like to live your life if you would know that you only have five years left? Again, plan for 50, but live for five.